Hey, I'm Ron from Mobile Geeks, and we are now moving on to the gaming test of the LG G3. In this case, I'm using the Korean pre production unit running the final software on the Snapdragon 805 2560 by 1440 pixel display on here and this is the, the and this is the 3 gigabyte version so we have 32 gigs of flash memory and 3 gigabytes of ram integrated the games i'm going to play are GTA 3 Asphalt 8 Dead Trigger 2 Riptide GP2 Shadowgun Dead Zone GT Racing 2 and Need for Speed most wanted. Another thing I want to talk about is again a nice feature that LG is integrating in their devices which is you can actually make the touch buttons down here disappear when you're playing games or are other using using other apps that uh, you want to use the full screen. Um, in this case I've activated it for the benchmarks and also for all the games so Asphalt, Asphalt 8 and all the other games will be using the full 2560 by 1440 resolution of this pretty decent and high pixel density screen on here. So let's get started and we'll jump right in running Asphalt 8. So now we have Asphalt 8 running on here and the device is definitely doing a good job of playing this game. Uh, the resolution is at the max so I've set all the graphics details to the maximum right here. My skills are lacking, that's the main problem on this game. No stutter or any lag or whatever in this case. Definitely doing a nice job of running Asphalt 8 right here. I'm just going to try and hit the boost, do some action for you guys. And yeah, looking great on the G3 in this case. Also the 5.5 inches uh, of the screen are definitely a good thing for gamers right here. So let's move on to the next game then. So here we have Need for Speed Most Wanted. Nice reflections on the ground there. Uh, definitely no lag in the game itself. Also looking very crisp at the high resolution of the screen. Again, for 538 pixel per inch right here. And again, the uh, screen size and the little room that is wasted on bezels right here is definitely making the game look even better I think on the G3 running Need for Speed Most Wanted right here. So next up probably gonna be uh, Shadowgun Dead Zone. See you in a second. So now we're in Shadowgun Dead Zone. Again highest graphics settings topping everything up as far as I can and this is again looking awesome on the G3 right here, except my playing games skills are really lacking. Well, gotta deal with that. Um, the high resolution looks stunning in this case again. And all the reflections and all the effects are no problem for the combination of the Snapdragon 801 2.5 gigahertz, 3 gigs of RAM, and the Adreno 330 GPU that's integrated right here. Now we're playing Dead Trigger 2, and this is looking great on here. No stutter at all. Didn't notice anything going wrong right here. Uh, the effects look great. The blood is splattering pretty well. So also Dead Trigger 2 is really nice on this machine right here. Just gonna kill a bunch more zombies. And before I forget about it I wanted to show you the speaker. Um, this is again Dead Trigger 2 and as you can hear the speaker on the back of the G2, G3 is definitely much better than the one on the G2 since it's really putting out a nice sound although it's just a single speaker this thing is really cracking right here it has a 1.5 watt booster amp integrated that's what LG is calling it and a 1 watt speaker that is definitely blasting out a nice sound and there's even something of 
a tiny bit of base right there. The only thing you'll have to uh, take care of is not to put your finger on the speaker on the back right there um, because it's positioned in a pretty decent way when you're holding the device vertically but when playing games you might hold the game uh, the, the machine in a way that covers up the speaker so you always want to make sure to keep your finger off the speaker there so now we have GTA 3 on the, G the G3 running it's again at the f highest graphic settings, maximum distance settings, and everything else graphics-wise wise, uh, cranked up to the maximum. As you might notice when going around corners, it tends to start to stutter a bit, so that's probably uh, resolution-related. But it's only in the city, and it's only when you have um, buildings right next to you, so the, the side-scrolling effect or... Uh, the turning effect in the 3D engine is causing that stutter right there. Maybe in between a couple of times when you go around corners you might notice that, but only when you go around the corners in a car, for example, and do so very quickly. Now let's move on to the next game then. So the next game we're checking out is Riptide GP2 on the G3. It's definitely looking stunning and yet again. Uh, all the effects are working well, no stutter at all or whatsoever any other uh, graphics problems right here. I've set it to the maximum again, so get all the reflections in the water and stuff. Definitely looking very nice, except again, I'm not really that good at these games while doing videos, but I can definitely tell you that the uh, water spraying up from the other jet skis, for example, is looking very nice and the G3's display is definitely doing a good job of displaying this game. So let's move on to the next one. So here we have GT Racing 2 and this is also looking great on this device. Definitely making good use of the high resolution and the 5.5 inch screen. Um, when I tried this a second ago the game actually crashed on me but that's probably caused by the software and not the device um, so GT Racing 2 also very starter free and high quality gaming right here even with a bunch of opponents that are eating CPU power right now getting simulated and I've also again set the settings to the maximum right here to make sure that we definitely test it out how the graphics part and the CPU itself are doing so let's move on to a classic now which is gonna be Temple Run 2 just for laughs checking out this arcade game so here we have Temple Run 2 on the G3 in this case and it's definitely doing a nice job on this game too, but that was to be expected since it's just a quick break game, kind of an arcade style game at which I tend to suck too just as much as on any other games. But you can see that the graphics are definitely no problem for this device. Um, looking pretty stunning on the screen right here. Uh, <clears throat> And as you can see down here, we have hidden the Android buttons, and you can just pull them up by swiping in right here. Uh, so overall, the G3 does a good job on gaming. The resolution is making sure that all the games look really stunning because it has a 538 pixel per inch pixel density, and the CPU integrated, the Snapdragon 805, is also doing a good job on here. The only thing I notice is that it tends to get a bit warm after a while, so that might lead to some throttling problems or throttling issues showing up when you're using this game, uh, this device for high-end gaming and are taxing the CPU a lot on here. So, but overall, definitely a nice and definitely one of the best uh, gaming devices out on the market right now if you're into smartphone gaming. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the LG G3 with a bunch of games. And if you like what we do on our channel, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And we'll see you later. Bye.